Hello and welcome to Tasting with Mike and Matt. I'm Mike Veach and this is my partner in crime, Matt Kors. Howdy. And today we are going to taste the Square Six mm -hmm. Weeded Bourbon. Yep. Now Square Six is the brand of whiskeys that they're making down at the uh, uh, Evan Williams Bourbon Heritage Center down on Main Street mm -hmm. in, the, in the small pot stills. And uh, this is a <clears throat> interesting bourbon because it's a marriage of two different mash bills. One is 74% corn, 16% wheat, 10% malted barley. The other one is 68% corn, 20% wheat, and 12% malted barley. Okay. So uh, that's going to make it for an interesting thing. And it's bottled at 105 proof. There's no age statement on it, but uh, uh, I believe that it's going to be about five or six years old. Oh, great. Okay. I It does look, has a nice color. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so they do the little pot stills there. Yeah. Now, I have to admit, I tasted this down at the distillery when I got picked up the bottle and I rather liked it. I've liked the Square Six series now. I don't know how many they put out now. Three this or four? Three. three. three? Yeah, they've okay. done the, the original mash bill, they've done a rye, and now they've done this weeded. Okay. I've enjoyed both of the, you know, the okay. rye and the, right. and the original mash bill. This one, I'm sure I'm going to like it. Yeah. I can already tell you I'm gonna like it. <laughs> Just by the it's got a nice color, like you said, it's a good amber color. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of a vanilla with a kind of a a, a cornbread dough type aroma to it. Mm -hmm. Is it weird? I'm getting a little nectarine. Is that a weird? I guess there's no wrong. Uh... No, there is no wrong. Yeah, nectarine could be. A... Yeah, it's like almost peachy or nectarine. I'd say, I, I'd say probably great. just apricot myself, but uh, right, maybe, yeah. uh, maybe you're <laughs> more of a nectarine guy. <laughs> and uh, not getting much spice. Not too not much. On the nose. Give me some. A little bit of oak. Mm-hmm. It's got a nice sweet smell. Yeah. But yeah, it's not spicy at all, is it? No. But let's see what it tastes like. Mm. Now, there's That's some really spice good. in the taste. There's some spice Not in Not much, but there's some. It's real sweet. I'm getting like vanilla, apricot, a little bit of a cardamom spice. Yeah, there's a zestiness to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's it's not, yeah. It's just and it's real light. smoke. Mm -hmm. But what I really like this is the finish. I'm getting a really nice oak a little bit of that spice cardamom spice but there's that lingering citrus fruit the yeah. apricot that just lingers with you and it's just so good yeah i always like that when um it's not just oak but you add a fruit in there on the finish and it just kind of lingers with that oak that's mm -hmm. always yeah that's always really good um yeah i really like this one a lot yeah so let's see about what it does with the cranberry, dried cranberry. Now, a lot of times if you do a dried cranberry, you can pull some of that fruit out, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the extra sugars in that dried cranberry will will change the flavor. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it brings the fruit out, but sometimes it makes the fruit disappear. Right. In this case, I think it was a little bit of both. I don't get Change as that. much of that apricot mm -mm. on the taste, but on the finish, that apricot is back with a vengeance. Instead of just a, a little bit of a lingering apricot, you get a lot of lingering apricot. It's almost like drinking a brandy. Yeah. Yeah, and, and then you get like 
it's vanilla forward um, in the taste. Are you getting that too? Yeah. Nice vanilla, um, grainy, I guess would be a I good would say more nutty. Nutty? Yeah, I'm saying it's got a little bit of like a hazelnut. Yeah, okay, I could see that because I'm getting like almost like a cereal grain. Maybe it's like a honey, hazelnut, cherryo almost, you know, yeah. on, on the taste. But I really, I really, I really liked it. Um, it did take the fruit out, like you said, it took the fruit out of, uh, out of the taste. Out of the taste. But, but it comes back on that finish. Yeah. So I get more of that, the cereal grains and, and that, uh, vanilla on the front end, which I really liked. I yeah. thought that was really good. Now that brings the fruit back. Mm -hmm. Fruit back, caramel. Caramel, yeah, and, and the definitely chocolate. the vanilla becomes more of a rich caramel. Mm -hmm. And uh, the caramel is even lingering around in the finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just sits there. <clears throat> and I would say the apricot is, is right there too. Right. Um, oh, that could be this, just as good as the neat. Yeah. I don't know, that's a, yeah. It's a rival. <laughs> Let's try it with a piece of chocolate. Now that really brought out caramel. That apricot, a mm -hmm. little bit of a peppery spice. Yeah, see, like a white pepper or yeah. anything. Yeah, kind of that floral white pepper. Mm -hmm. And the finish is definitely oak white pepper, lingering caramel. Yeah, I'm and, saying, yeah. And still, the, that apricot just doesn't go away. It just, it just kind of lingers there. Mm-hmm. I think that's its strongest uh, flavor on yeah. this one is that, that ap the apricot apricot just sits right there and yeah man it just sits right there with the oak and, and the pepper it's really really good stuff right yeah so Jody you're doing a good job down there at the uh, uh, Evan Williams Bourbon Heritage Center yep and uh, so cheers cheers and if you like this video please hit subscribe and uh, Please always drink responsibly.